Okay, now we're going to look a little bit about categorical variables. So we have a blind taste test. People were given four different types of water and asked to select their top choice. Ten of the participants selected tap water, 25 Aquafina, 41 Fiji, and 24 Sam's Choice. So we want to display a frequency table. So we're going to list the categories. Tap, Aquafina, Fiji, Sam's Choice. Then we're going to come up with the total. So the frequency ten chose tap. 25 Aquafina, 41 Fiji, and 24 Sam's Choice. And if we add all these up, we should come up with 100. So a total of 100 people participated in this survey. Now we want to find what proportion selected Aquafina. Well, because this is a sample with which we're working, the symbol we use for proportion is p hat. We would use just p if it were the entire population, but this is only a sample of 100. And Aquafina, there were 25 who preferred Aquafina, so 25 over 100, or 0 0.25, or you could also write it as 25 percent. Either decimal or percent would be the preferred ways of writing the answer. Now we want what proportion selected bottled, not tap water. So 25 selected Aquafina, 41 selected Fiji, 24 Sam's Choice over the 100 gives us 90 over 100, or 0 0.9, or 90 percent. Now for a relative frequency table, we're just going to take the original frequency table and put it in percents instead of raw numbers. So we have tap. Aquafina, Fiji, Sam's Choice. Now we're working with the relative frequency, where it's nice because this turns out to be a hundred that we worked with. So to come up with the relative frequency, it's a fairly easy for tap. It's ten over a hundred or 0 0.10. Aquafina we found to be 25 over 100. Fiji is 41 over 100. Sam's Choice is 24 over 100. Then when we add it up, we should get the entire amount, which is 1. So a relative frequency table is just taking a frequency table and finding what part of the whole fits into each category. Now we have a table here. This is 169 college students. They were asked about their relationship status and gender, and we have this two-way table. Now we want to make sure we don't include total in the table. So we have two variables here the gender, and the relationship status. So we want to know what proportion of students in this sample are in a relationship. Again, it's a sample, so we use p hat. And in a relationship, there were 42 in a relationship out of the total of 169. And if we divide it out, we have 0.2485. Now we want what proportion of females 
or in a relationship. So now we're just working with the female students. So we have 107 female students, and of those 107, 32 say that they are in a relationship, which is 0.299. Now, looking at it the opposite way, what proportion of people who are in a relationship are female? That means we're now looking at this first row of just those in relationship. So we have P hat, our denominator is 42, and of the total in a relationship, 32 are female, which gives us a proportion of 0.762. Now let's look at uh, what proportion of males are in a relationship. Now when we're talking about proportion of males, we're just looking at the, row, the column for males. And there are 62 males. Of those 62, 10 say that they are in a relationship. So that is 0.161. Now we can take this a step further and we're going to use P hats of F to represent the proportion of females in a relationship, P hats of M to represent the proportion of males in a relationship. So we want to find the difference in the two proportions. So P hats of F minus p hat sub m. So the proportion of females we had in a relationship was 0 0.299. The proportion of males is 0 0.161 and the difference is 0 0.138. So that's it.